Here's a look at the combination Big Hit and then Fight Victory by Chase Stillman that apparently saved the Peterborough Pete season. Everyone's crediting him for making this great momentum shift in this game. Peterborough was down 3-1 at the time. They ended up actually going down 4-1 even after this. And then, of course, they tied the game 4-4, won it in overtime, and the season is saved. And this has become a poster play again for people saying that fighting belongs in hockey. This is why we need fighting, because you can really turn the momentum of a game around and take a game over with a big fight. The hit itself is for another video, but what I don't understand is how Caden Bankier comes in and Stillman has his gloves off before Bankier even does anything. And Bankier gets two minutes for instigating and an extra 10-minute misconduct for that, for instigating this fight. And I can see what you're going to say. Yeah, he went right over to him and put his hands out. What happened to a world where you could just go talk to a guy, get in his face, and let him know that that's not acceptable and that he might want to keep his head up the rest of the game? Nothing is happening to Stillman here. And then he's already got his mitts off and ready to fire. How is Bankier instigating a fight when he doesn't show any sign of actually fighting until he's already being punched? So to me, if they can review that hit and rescind the penalty, they need to be able to look at the instigator they gave. They need to be able to review that and make sure they got that right too, because that's 12 minutes in penalties. And I always get an extra chuckle at these situations, because what if Bankier had won this fight? What if he'd gone after Stillman and won this fight, and then his team had won? We'd be saying, what a great guy, what a great teammate. He stood up for his team, and they responded super well to that. That's fantastic. This is why fighting belongs in the game. You wouldn't be talking about Stillman at all taking that fight. So the truth is, nothing changed because Stillman fought. Things only changed because Stillman won the fight. And did they even? Because I could just as easily argue that Kamloops was inspired by this fight. Bankier, even though he lost the fight, he defended his teammate. And we loved that, and we went out and scored the next goal. And it doesn't even matter anyway, really, because... I don't think there's that many people that are arguing fighting doesn't change the momentum of a game. The whole argument is that that shouldn't be an option for changing the momentum of a game. You should have to change the momentum of the game by playing more skill and being a better team and bearing down and making proper hockey plays, not just grabbing onto a guy and pummeling him just to get someone excited on the bench. Of course it works, but should it be an option? That is the biggest question. Personally, at the end of the day, I think they rewarded the wrong guy here. I think Stillman initiates this fight right here. I think he's looking for it already. He wants it. And the league rewarded him by giving the instigator to Bankier and awarded the wrong thing at the wrong time for the wrong team. And it ends up being a false victory for the pro fighting crowd. To me, this is the exact opposite of an example I would use to show why fighting is good for hockey. Because in this case, I think the instigator, the bully got the victory.